So here we are. I already knew this dumbass shit was gonna happen and somebody was gonna try to change a tragic story into a dumbass story because it was all this dumbass shit that happened. But the only reason why I'm even considering doing this is because I wanna bring some closure and some clarification to the families and the sister of this brother that mistakenly, tragically lost his life in this dumbass situation for no reason. And for the family having to see their family member body slain and slandered all over the internet for no motherfucking reason. But it also, I also was trying to keep it so G in the situation that I didn't even want to incriminate or put the person in trouble that could have harmed my life and then took this other man's life in this situation. But since all the information is already public and out, now we can speak on it. What happened was, and what I said in the original video, like I told y'all, I don't know what's going on and how it went on. We all trying to find out the rest of this information. But what I do know is that everybody ain't going. Guns kill everybody, but everybody is not scared of guns. And tragically, what happened is like you see, um, you think a nigga wanna make up a black eye and all this dumb ass shit. What happened was I fought for my life and fought for my jury and my belongings and got me and my men up out the situation and up out of there and, and, and squabbled myself out of a situation where a firearm was put in my face. Half of you, half of you motherfuckers wouldn't even fight a motherfucker with a, with a butter knife in their hand. And, and tragically, after that situation, the same motherfucker that, that I made this person run out from the situation from a failed, failed robbery attempt, ran off and ran into another man and tried to rob this man. And this man did the same thing that I did because he was a black king, a black warrior, somebody that fought hard for whatever he had in life. He had his firearm on him and he wasn't going. And unfortunately, in his situation, he lost his life. I could have lost my life as well. I, we both made the same uh, erratic, irrational decision because we, we want this, we, we, we not going and we're trying to live and die for what we have. So unfortunately, somebody did something stupid and a man lost his life, and I could have been that man lose his life too because I made the. I'm also somebody that do stupid shit that's gonna fight for what fight for what I have. Just so like this man tried to fight for what he have, and unfortunately, this man had the quicker draw, and it however whatever went on is whatever went on. And I apologize, and I'm sorry for this man and his family and everything that went on. But what y'all not finna do is switch up narrative and try to make me look like a fucked up nigga amongst my people and the people that love me. Like I'm out here slandering and trying to get some cream or credit or clout for none of that. What I spoke on is I fought, and I didn't even want to speak on that. But what the business that was stood on is that I fought for my life for myself and my brothers, and I left with all my jewelry on, his blood on my body, a black on my eye. That man didn't know what went on between me and that man. He know what went on and what, what went down. Just like he know what went on and whatever just went down and just like here, you know, you look me in my eyes like I looked you in my eyes before I went with my mood like you went with your mood. Hey man, I could have been laying on the ground like that last man, but at the end of the day, it wasn't what you was expecting. Just like the same thing, it wasn't with him. So unfortunately, because somebody did something stupid and our young kings is being misled wrong to do dumb shit, think for, for greed and fortune and money, we killing ourselves and losing our lives. But what the problem is, is y'all looking for the mess and not the message. And the rest of you clout chase the peon ass motherfuckers out here scared because y'all dumbass putting bodies on the internet. You trying to clarify yourself. Nigga, you a hoe. You a bitch. I slapped the shit out your bitch ass, boo.